Distel is South Africa's leading producer and marketeer of wine, spirits and flavoured alcoholic beverages. The company is in the process of creating an international footprint in key markets in North and Latin America, Europe, Asia, Pacific and Africa. Cape Van Rimgro Investments hold a 58% stake in Distel and Distel has a market cap of 17 billion rand and a price to earnings ratio of 15. This is where the, the industry starts getting a little incestuous because later in the show we're going to be talking about Cape Vin and their holdings all over the place. You're going to have to explain that to me because it's quite compl complicated. But Distel, the essence of Distel, do you like the business? I like the business. In fact, I have for many, many years. We've always thought of, of Distel as being what we, and it's not a derogatory term, but uh, widows and orphan stock. You know, when you can put your money into this thing and you, you know that they're going to deliver good earnings growth, might not be spectacular. This is highly defensive in your opinion. H highly defensive. I was looking at the earnings growth going back for the past 10 years before I came on this evening. And you know, it's actually been remarkably good. Only in 2006 did they have a, a, a bit of a blip. But other than that, it's been actually remarkably strong earnings growth coming out of this company. You haven't capitalized on that. I see no holding on your front. You know what? Trying to get hold of the stock is incredibly difficult. Almost 90% of it is held by um, Remgro uh, so and, an and SAB Miller. And the free float is very yeah. small. Yeah, the history behind this business is obviously people have been making wine in this country since they got off the boat in 1652. And then distillers started putting a little bit of it together and Stellenbosch Farmers Winery also, so co-ops and so on. And obviously distill is the combination of those two. I don't know why the competition authorities let that one go through because basically they're the dominant company by far in liquor distributed through the bottle stores and through the farms and so on and so forth. As Chris says, 60% held by this cabal, which is Remgro and the PSG guys in uh, Cape Finn, which we'll talk about in a minute. And the other 30% owned by SAB Miller because SAB Miller owned a big position in Stellenbosch Farmers Winery. So here we are. But the fact is it's done spectacularly well. If you show the graph of this one over the top of Tiger, and in fact, over the top of SAB Miller, these are stocks which in an expanding consumer economy done spectacularly well. But which you missed out on. You don't hold any of it either. No, but you know, the, at the end of the day, you've got to ask yourself, do you want to be invested in a company that is selling Clipdrift and that is selling Mainstay? You know, you can stay as you are for the rest of your <laughs> life or you can change to Mainstay. I don't know, man. It's just not for me where I want to be. <coughs> if it was more liquid, let me put that to you. Would no you pun have, intended, yes. Would <laughs> you have, <laughs> no pun intended, would you have bought into it? Would you buy more of it? I, I think we probably would. Um, and bear in mind, I'm talking from the, the perspective of asset management private clients. I'm not sure if there are um, other parts of the business which, which have holdings in this one. Um, so, yes, no, look, I, I do like it. It's, it's actually quite a compelling argument. And, you know, their products... I have seen them from uh, in, in as far away as Reykjavik and in, in Sao Paulo, Amarula, for example. It's an incredibly successful How can uh, you discount operation. Amarula? That's a delicious, a delicious <laughs> drink. <laughs> have you seen those cheesy ads with the guys are like wandering around with the elephant getting drunk and so on? I mean, really, those have got to be the worst on TV. This again is a new investment <laughs> philosophy from Paul that he won't buy a stock because he doesn't like their advertising strategy. A new one, definitely. You were saying, sorry, Chris, when we interrupted. It's, it's been remarkably successful all over the world. I mean, you can find Amarillo in, in so many strange places. Um, you know, and, and the, the import, so, some great whiskies, things like Buna Arvin, you know, from Scotland, which goes for like, uh, what, 2,000 rands a bottle. Uh, and, you know, the, 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 there's niche marketing in, in, in these type of things. But the reality is it's not going to become any more liquid with those heavy holdings in it. No. And at some point in time, I have a funny feeling the SAB may well sell out of this thing. It's not core. It's like the, the, the Sogo Sun thing. Um, what will trigger that, what will catalyze it, I don't know. But I, I suspect at some point in time that 29%, it's not quite 30%, may, may well be disposed of. And that, that will probably free up the, um, the, the shareholders. Absolutely. And if mm. we do see that disposed, taken, maybe Could they change their advertising strategy <laughs> and it becomes a little bit more favorable in your book. Uh. Would you line up to, to you take know, part I think at the that? super premium end in the spirits environment, the only part of it that really is appealing is the really small stuff. So you can understand why people would go and you know, have boutique estates where people have got more money than cents and they're going to go and launch a new wine label and so on. That could do well. But at the kind of basic end of the industry globally, you know, it's going to be a consumer type story. And I, as I said, these consumer stocks are doing fine. But for me, I wouldn't look to accumulate a sizable position here, given the liquidity and given all of those issues, plus the fact that it's fairly expensive relatively. Hot or not on Distel? Fundamentally, I like the business. I think it's hot. Paul, hot Also or going not? to pass on this one. Nope. nope. Not hot. No, no.